Hello today and welcome back to the third. We have come all the way back to Moon Door number three. This is Chloe's Moon Door about her early years at Genesis Royal Academy. I've done a lot of hyping up of this door. Hope you like it. But this is one that I've been uh, looking forward to all game. This as well as the one right after it that we're gonna do. These are two of my very favorites. And this is another door that once again exemplifies how this game continues to get better over time. Are we possibly going to have a trial? Nope, I shall grant to you a memory fragment and my blessing. Spring came, but it took far more time doing so than the average year. Genesis Royal Academy. Is it going to tell us what year it is? It's not 1202, I don't think. It's like, what, maybe the year before or the year before that? One by one, the magnolia flowers began to show their faces to the world, as if reluctant to let their long slumber end. And with the changing of the seasons, a brand new student of the infamous Genesis Royal Academy set foot into its grounds, slightly later than her peers. Well, here I am. Okay, I can do this. Uh oh, so that's our famous transfer student, huh? A hawk? Nah, seems more like a falcon. I'd sworn to myself that I would stop relying on other people. I'd had enough of being restricted in how to live. I had had enough of following the rails laid out for me by other people. I was going to put my own two feet on the ground and start living my own life by myself. That was my resolve, and I intended to abide by it. But somewhere in my heart, I had already realized that resolve of mine was nothing more than an excuse. Social Studies Classroom, First Year Joint Class I think I already spot Jill and Hans. Settle down, settle down. I've got someone to introduce to you all. This is our new transfer student, Chloe Renz. She's going to be studying, oh, Social Studies apparently. You'll be with me then. Well, why don't you introduce yourself to the class? Of course. My name is Chloe Renz, and starting today, I will be a first year student at this academy. I've been looking forward to beginning my life at this wonderful academy for some time, so I'm truly delighted to be here. It's an honor to be able to count myself among your number. I'm still an inexperienced child in many ways, so I fear I may cause you all trouble in the coming days and weeks but I intend to work as hard as I can for the betterment of myself, my class, and my school, so I do hope we can all get along. I sure wasn't expecting a transfer student at this time of year. I wonder if she's from a rich family or something. She sure sounds stuffy, so it would fit. She's obviously got some kind of special circumstances to be enrolling in May. Excuse me, but could I ask a question? Where do you live? You're from Marlboro, right? Uh, um, yes, I'm from Grand Cell. Do you have any hobbies? Um, not specifically. What, for reals? That's kind of boring. Um, still, no matter how much I think about it, nothing comes to mind. I suppose I could say making sweets. But I don't feel like I do that enough for it to qualify as a hobby. Isn't the entrance exam for transfer students supposed to be crazy hard? You must be really smart to be able to pass it. Harder than the one the rest of us took? No way! That was nuts as it was! You must be quite smart. Uh, um... Okay, class, that's enough. I'm sure you must all have things you want to ask our new student, but they can wait until after class. Go ahead and take a seat, Chloe. Oh, yes, ma'am. All 
All right then, time to get started with our lesson. If you would open your textbooks to page 23. Hmm, a mysterious transfer student. Now there's a surefire recipe for catching my interest. Two weeks passed at the academy. Despite the passing of time, the student's interest in the transfer student showed no sign of letting up, and she was soon the talk of the whole school. All anyone wanted to talk about was her, how smart she was, how unusually polite she was, among other things. Her peers thought the formalities were largely due to nerves, and that she would naturally ease up over time, but the reality was somewhat different. <laughs> Phew, I'm glad that's over! Phew, glad I attended class today. We are learning so much. Come on, Monica, it's time for practice. Coming. <laughs> Look at Anton and Ricky up there. <laughs> Did you know Anton and Ricky are technically Chloe's senpai? Let's not ever talk about that ever again. And you would think that maybe she'd notice them when you meet them in, uh, like... Well, you don't ever get to talk to them with her in first chapter, so at least second chapter, but I'm pretty sure she doesn't. Unless I'm super mistaken. Oh dear, did everyone go home already? I haven't handed out all these printouts yet. Oh, it's Miss Wyola. She looks like she needs help with something. Maybe I could volunteer? No time like the present. Um, Miss Wyola, is there anything I can help you with? You seem rather troubled about something. Well, there is, but I feel a little bad asking you to help me with it. Hmm. Well, if you insist. Uh, of course. Miss Wyola handed a pile of printouts to Chloe. God, I hated having to do this when I was in school. Could you go and hand these out to all the social studies students then? One each. They're rather important too, so try and see that everyone gets one. I'll get to work right away. Thank you so much. Okay, gotta run. There's a staff meeting starting soon. Let's see. Oh, this is a list of this year's credits. No wonder she wanted these handed out right away. I might as well start with the students still here. After that, I can go and speak with the ones who have gone to their respective clubs, as well as those who have returned to their dormitories. Okay, to work I go. And we now have control. So I don't know everything that's in here in this little door, but we'll soon find out. Really? I had no idea. Well, the Republic is pretty huge in terms of landmass and all. Just traveling on foot isn't going to cut it. You need a more effective means of transportation. Uh, excuse me? Oh, Chloe. Hello. Can we help you with something? Well, you see, Miss Wyola has entrusted me with the task of giving printouts to all of the social studies students. Chloe gave Roy and Thelma a copy of the printout each. Hey, it's a list of all our credits. Thanks for going out of your way to deliver these, Chloe. Not at all. I apologize for intruding on your conversation, too. I'll get out of your way now. Have a good day. Uh, oh, right. I wanted to hear more about their conversation. They're talking about the Republic. Crazy how polite she is, huh? I yeah, I guess. She's a bit too polite, though, if you ask me. Makes it hard to feel comfortable talking to her. Can I go back in? Yeah. Did you know that Roy's from Calvert? Actually, I didn't. Maybe that is mentioned somewhere. So he knows all kinds of interesting facts about the country that I wouldn't have the chance to hear otherwise. Cool, tell me something about the Republic, Roy. I can't tell you exactly where all the other social studies students could have gone, but, well, it's about time for the club activities to start. I think you're fairly likely to find the ones who've joined clubs there. You're probably right. Thank you for the advice. Oh, it was nothing. Come on, tell me about Calvert, you dick. What if we run into Roy in the future? What if we meet him in like a Calvert city? And he's like, I studied social studies at Genesis Royal Academy in Little You never know. It could totally happen. In fact, I'm going to put like a dollar on saying it will happen. And if I lose the bet, who do I pay it to? I don't know. In my experience, Leo's observations are always worth keeping a close eye on. I can't believe he was able to work out the properties of this material from so little data, but that's just what he does. He didn't rely on guesswork either. His evidence for his beliefs is sound, too. 
I really do look up to him. Yep, this is uh, Reyna. She's the girl from Erebonia, right? The, uh, the noble. It's almost time for our club to decide on a new captain. Personally, I'm backing Felicity, naturally. But she doesn't seem to have any interest in the position, unfortunately. I'm not going to let that stop me, though. I'm sure I can think of something to change her mind. I am right, that is who she is, right? Excuse me, you aren't a social studies student, are you? Sorry, but no. I'm a natural sciences student, actually. Oh, Oops. Uh, I see. Sorry for troubling you, then. You're Chloe, right? I've heard all kinds of rumors about how smart you are. My name's Felicity Barron. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. Okay, maybe that's not who she is. Unfortunately, the girl I'm thinking of has like a character model that gets repeated at the academy. So there's at least one other student that looks exactly like her. With the red hair and whatnot. Oh, Chloe. How are you doing? Have you settled in here yet? Well, I'd like to think so, yes. By the way, thank you very much for your help during the enrollment process. Thanks to you, I was able to begin my new life here without any problems at all. I'm just glad to have been of assistance. If there's anything else you need help with, you need only to ask. I'll do what I can. I'll bear that in mind. Thank you very much. I actually saw the current student council president here not long ago, too. <laughs> He was so mature for someone his age. This year's student council president is mature beyond his years by the looks of it. I've never seen a student like him in all my years working at this, this academy. So does Fauna know Chloe's identity? Possibly. A meeting's going on in the faculty lounge. Alright. Can I talk to Dean Collins? What's up Dean Collins? Oh, hello there Chloe. Well, he definitely knows. Are you finally starting to get used to life here? Sir, um, I want to thank you again for permitting me to transfer here on such short notice. I really... Chloe, you undertook our official transfer student exam and you passed it. You needn't feel at all indebted to me or feel as though you're being granted special treatment. I... if you say so, sir. Thank you. I don't believe you've been given a full tour of the academy facilities yet, come to think of it. If there's anything you need explaining to you, be sure to ask the student council. I'm sure they will be only happy to help. Thank you, sir. I will bear that in mind. Uh, where it's located? Sure. We'll, we'll definitely be going there. About these other classrooms, though. Alright, there's no one in this one. So I guess we're going to the... Let's go to the dorms now. We'll save the club room for last. How about the theater, though? Oh, I recognize you. You're the new first-year transfer student, Chloe Renz, correct? Yes, I am. I'm Rigel, a third-year humanities student. I also serve as the captain of the fencing club. If you're at all interested in what we do, you'd be welcome to stay and watch us practice. I wish I could, but I'm afraid I'm a little too busy at the moment. Thank you for your offer, though. Hmm. <laughs> Just the thought of joining reminds me of my training sessions with Julia. Is that you, Monica? Finally, we've been waiting for you, you know? Um, I... I... Sorry, I didn't mean to confuse you. What? You didn't do anything wrong. I was the one who made a mistake. Oh, I suppose you're right. I I'm sorry. Like I said, I was the one who made a mistake. Okay, stop right there. Don't mind her, Chloe. She's kind of slow on the uptake at times like these. Do you need something from us, though? We're going to start practice soon, so we can't hang around and talk long. Oh, I see. Still, I'm relatively sure that Clara is a social studies student. This doesn't really seem like the best time to be intruding on them. Maybe it would be best for me to excuse myself now and come back later. Um, oh, I know. You came to watch this practice because you're thinking of joining the club, right? Awesome! We'd be stoked to have you as a member. You might want to let her speak before busting out the confetti and streamers. Seriously, just ignore her, Chloe. If you don't, we'll be here all day. We really do need to start soon, though. So can you make whatever you need quick? Oh, sure. Sorry. Um, well, I just came to deliver this, that's all. Chloe handed Clara the printout. Ah, oh, this is all you were here for? A credits list? I got my hopes up for nothing. Boo. I'm sorry about that. 
But yes, that was all I wanted, so I'll let you go ahead and start practice. Oh, thanks. She's kind of weird, right? She's the mysterious transfer student everyone is talking about. You wouldn't expect her to be too normal. Oh, that's her, huh? I wish she'd stayed and joined the club. Oh, I can go on the stage. What about this side? No one. And no one upstairs, right? Never is. Hey, it's Mickey. He's the guy who was uh, running away from the academy when uh, Gilbert occupied it. You're the new student, right? What do you want? I'm not really in the mood to talk. I'm bored, so I'm just taking it easy for now. What do you want? I'm not really in the mood to talk. Mickey, you are so rude. Makes me regret saving your ass in the future. Do I have like a... No, I don't. I don't have like a notebook or anything. That would have been cool though. Lucy sure is gorgeous, isn't she? She's here as an exchange student from the Principality of Remiferia to the north. I wonder if all the girls there are as pretty. I sure wish I was. I don't believe we've met that student in the past slash future during first and second chapter. By which I mean Lucy, not the girl we just talked to. Alright, no other girls in the dorm. Let's try the boys dorm. Hmm, I know you. Chloe Renz, wasn't it? Do you have some business with me? Well, not personally, no. I've been entrusted with the task of giving a printout to you by Miss Wyola. Chloe handed logic a printout. Oh, this is a list of this year's credits. B what? Joint classes seem to be worth an awful lot while we're first years. Wait, physical education is worth five whole credits? Adios, help me. Um, I suppose I should probably leave him alone for a while. Well, if you'll excuse me. Wait a moment. Uh, yes? Oh, no. It's just that according to this printout, our examinations will be taking place in six weeks' time. Make sure you study thoroughly for them. I don't want to hear any excuses if you don't strive for the top. Uh, absolutely. I'll devote myself fully to my studies. Anyone else here? Any other boys we should be talking to? I mean, given the way it pointed me at the door a second ago, probably not. There's this guy, this is Dennis. Logic asked if he could borrow some of my reference books, so I'm in the process of choosing ones to give him. He really is alarmingly dedicated to his studies. <laughs> That's not a bad thing, though. On the contrary, I think it's great. Would those be the reference books that we uh, had to track down in first chapter? Maybe. The ones about Ruan's economics and whatnot, those are thrilling. What a what a great read they were. No one at the tables. Before we go to the clubhouse, there's of course one more location we can go to. And that's the old schoolhouse. Good place to get away from it all. And you know, slack off, which means it's perfect for Anton and Ricky. Hey there, you look like you're in a hurry. Oh, you're looking for social studies students? There's one standing right here, Anton. Personally, I think he made a major mistake picking that course in the first place, though. He's not built for all that work. <laughs> Anton gets his own thing. Hey, Ricky. Why are we here? Spring has come, and yet in my heart, it's still the middle of winter. <sighs> Why does everything in my life have to go wrong? Um, excuse me? Oh, I know you. You're the transfer student, right? <sighs> I wish I was smart like you. Uh, um, Miss Wyola told me to deliver this to you. Chloe handed Anton a printout. Huh, I shouldn't even need this. I should have graduated. But here I am redoing the year again. What? I can't believe I have to do my third year all over again. This is the worst. I was so full of hope when I first enrolled here. And look at me now. Um, I'm not sure what to say in this situation. <laughs> so let's just leave him alone. 
So remember, we ran into Anton in the year 1197 as Shara in Grand Cell. So this must be like, what, 1201 maybe? <laughs> because they went, they attended Genesis, and they like got held back a year. They still haven't graduated. <laughs> oh, Anton and Ricky. Oh, I was so excited when I found out I could attend here and look at me now. I feel like I'm being toyed with at this point. Fate just has it in for me. Huh. Aww. For some bizarre reason, Anton decided to major in social studies. <laughs> I told him enrolling in a course where you have to do that much memorization was only going to end badly for him, but he didn't listen. <laughs> so the weird thing is, again, I don't know if they ever recognize each other in the future. But also, I find it almost a little inconsistent that, given that they have met at some point in their lives, that, like, Anton didn't fall in love with Chloe, because he seems to fall in love with everyone. <sighs> Adios help us. Where is that loser? I would have thought he we'd have found him by now. Lucy, I'm not sure I can stand much more of this. Stop your whining, you. I bet you've secretly been slacking off with your search the whole time, haven't you? I have not. I just don't get it. We're swimming in eyewitness reports on of him, but us running into him? It's not happening. Why? It's almost like he doesn't want to be found. There's the girl we heard about. Lucy. I don't think our odds of capturing him today are especially high, Leo. What should we do? I suppose we'll just have to do what we can without him for now. The two of us can handle the majority of the soon council's work. But we are going to need his approval in the end. So you two need to keep up your search. Find him as soon as possible. Right. Right. I'll see you two later. Righto. Hans is really into her. Well, I guess we'd better get back to work. Oh, if we must. Huh? Chloe? What brings you here with a pile of printouts in hand? Oh, um, well... I'm just helping Miss Wyola with some of her work, you see. By going around after class giving out printouts? You're one model student. I would have turned her down if I was in your position. Uh, well, how about this? Why don't we give you a hand with it? The two of us are going to be walking around the school for a while because of some other work. So it'd be no skin off our backs. Oh, I don't want to trouble you. I was the one who accepted this task, so it's my duty to see it through to the end. Well, if you'll excuse me, I should probably be getting back to it. Good luck with your own work. So, like, guess who's sharing a room with her? Me. Huh? Really? She's supposed to be a real genius from all I've heard about her. Sounds like one convenient room arrangement if you ever find yourself stuck on homework. Well, I guess you could see it that way, but it's like, I don't know. She's really pleasant and polite and all, but it's sort of... It's like she doesn't want to be super close to anybody. Yeah, I get what you mean. But if you're sharing a room with her, you can't be total strangers, right? Don't you talk sometimes? Not really. Hi and good night is about the most we do, to be honest. I wish I could talk to her normally. Have you spotted the inconsistency? In the first chapter, when uh, we see Chloe for the first time after uh, after leaving Grand Cell, when we go to the Herb Royal Villa and we save her as the princess, uh, Estelle asks why she goes by the name Chloe. And it's an amalgamation of her real name, Chloe Von Osses. And of course, as I mentioned, in Japanese, it's Close. So Chloe was an exceed change. But that's not all XE did. They added a line in her explanation where she says that it's a pet name that was given to her by Jill. That does not appear in the Japanese text. It is factually incorrect. So where it originally came from, who came up with the idea? Was it her? Probably. Given that there's no explanation for who came up with the idea. She just arrives at Genesis as Chloe. So what XC added in there, that little bit about Jill coming up with it, is factually incorrect. They screwed up. <laughs> That's why you can't take too much liberty. You never know when something like that might happen. 
Where could it have gone? Oh, there it is. You. Um, excuse me. Hey, you're the transfer student, right? Chloe! Do you need something from me? Yes, actually. You see, Miss Wyola asked me to deliver these. Chloe handed Monica a printout. Oh, it's our credits list. Uh, there's so many classes here. Being a second year seems like it's going to be rough. I'm surprised you went out of your way to deliver these. Not like there was any rush. Um, you really think so? Yeah, she forgot to hand them out last year, too. We got them eventually, but it was like forever after we should have. She might be pretty, but she's kind of not all there, if you know what I mean. You might want to watch your back, okay? Like, you're obviously a nice girl, so if you don't, she might end up taking advantage of that. There you are, Monica. You do realize we can't start without you, right? Whoops, sorry, I'm coming now. Well, see you later, Chloe. Thanks for delivering that printout to me. Oh, not at all. But, but I need to keep doing what I can. Maybe I was desperate to cling on to something, to keep from losing sight of myself. The world made it seem like you could only broaden your horizons by interacting with others. But there I was, stubbornly refusing to come out of my shell. Or was it really stubbornness? In some weird way, I can't explain it. It was more like obsessing over the idea that I could grow as long as I pushed myself. It's not like I wanted to be left behind. It's not like I wanted to be alone. As long as I tried hard enough, maybe I'd one day stop feeling like I was always running in place. Please let me have control right after this. Please let me have control right after this. H hold on a minute. I don't have a printout left for me. I wonder if I left mine in the classroom. I must have. I better go back and get it. Please give me control. Please give me control. Please give me control. Darn it. <sighs> Can I really keep going on like this? So yeah, that transfer student came by earlier. Oh, the super smart one? Yeah, anyway. So yeah. Um... I should hurry back to my room and go over what we learned in class. I need to go over our credits list again, too. <sighs> I'm feeling kind of tired. Hey there, pretty lady. You're the student council president, right? Bingo. Name's Lecter. Sure is gorgeous sunset today, huh? Oh, yes it is. So, what are your impressions of the academy? Well, um, I think it's a wonderful place. It's well equipped in terms of facilities, for one thing. It has everything needed to really cultivate a good environment for learning, and I'm happy to have chosen it. <laughs> <laughs> My hunch was right on the money. I knew you'd take it that way. As opposed to... Uh, I'm sorry, did I misunderstand you? Well, I was more asking about your life at the academy outside of all that book junk. Maybe it's just me, but you don't really seem to be letting loose or having fun. Um... Well, I do still feel as though I'm still adjusting to life here, so there's a lot I have yet to learn. But I'll keep working as hard as I can on doing so, I promise. Hmm. Was that really what you came here to do, though? Pardon me? 
Man, you're too serious. Have you ever tried playing hooky, like, ever, at least once? I, um, I... I might not look the part, but I am the student council president, you know? That works pretty damn easy, too. What do you think? Are you inviting me to join? Only if you have a theme for long nights filled with exciting paperwork and super duper throwing schedules. Huh? <laughs> I was hoping for some kind of reaction. If he's the president, there must be something respectable about him, but I'm not seeing it. How do I put this? I feel like I couldn't trust him with so much as a tin mirror coin. Oh, whoops. After Amelia was bugging me about showing up to lessons once in a while, I should probably cough up some new excuse to ditch. I mean, I could go, but where's the fun in that? Pissing her off's like watching a pot boil over, though. So whatever crap I make up better be really convincing. Yep, I think my instincts were dead on. Um, I... I should really be heading back to the dormitory now. You might want to watch how you stand when I'm kicking it down here. My view's awesome, if you catch my drift. Excuse me? That weighs the boys' storm. Oh boy. This one's gonna be like pulling teeth. Several days later, after classes. The Soon Council, an autonomous body run by students for students, responsible for maintaining order and overseeing student activities. And their most important duty of all is searching for their president. He's not here either. Where is that ruffian? I was sure he'd think he got us and come back to the council room this time. Sure of it. I swear, every time we do manage to find him, he gets a thousand times more capable of hiding from us. Where could he be? We've searched the school buildings, we've searched the dorms. Where's left? The shrubs on the grounds? Ugh, he's just taunting us now. Get it together, Hans. We're going to find him. And we are going to force feed him every single piece of paperwork he's got piling up. Right on. Huh? Chloe? What are you doing sitting here? Oh, hello. I just had a little free time, so I thought I would try and use it productively. Is that lesson prep work? Man, you're so dedicated. I think I could see how you were able to pass the legendary transfer student entrance exam. Um, it's really just something to pass the time. It's not like I'm working every waking hour of the day. Oh yeah, guess it wouldn't hurt to ask. You haven't seen Lecter around, have you? Lecter? I'm almost scared to ask, but he didn't try anything funny on you, did he? No, sort of. I'm so sorry. This is all of our fault for not keeping that nut job on a leash. I don't know how we can begin to apologize to you. Whatever he did, we'll be absolutely sure it never happens again, or anything else for that matter, so please forgive us. We're begging you. Um, it's okay, honestly. He really didn't do anything major to me, honest. R really? Yes. He just tried to tease me a little. It was harmless fun. You, you nearly gave me a heart attack, Chloe. I thought I was gonna faint or something. Seriously, it's getting to the point where I feel like I need to apologize every time I hear his name. Thanks, Adios. Thanks, Adios. <laughs> um, is he really that much of a troublemaker? Oh, troublemaker? That's cute. Honestly, with a personality like that, he's a walking nightmare straight from Gehenna. We've lost count of how many times he's ran away from doing his council work in the past couple of weeks alone. Which would be bad enough if it weren't for the fact that he's usually out raising hell for people instead. So instead of doing our own work, we're either out searching for him or apologizing for things he's done. That's why the council's most important policy is, if he's not in our sights, the sooner we find him, the better. 
if you're thinking we can't be a very effective student council like that, well, you're right. I... I see. Something wrong, Chloe? Uh, oh, no, nothing really. But speaking of Lecter, he was sleeping on top of the clubhouse roof not long ago. He was? Well, that explains why we couldn't find him. We didn't check there. You're the best, Chloe. Thanks a ton. Not at all. It was actually Sieg who noticed him there, but I suppose I shouldn't tell them that. Come on, Hans. We've got some trash to bring in. Damn straight. Seriously, thanks, Chloe. We owe you big time. See you later. Uh, oh, sure. So that's what he's usually like. My instincts about him being irresponsible were right, I see. Still, that question he asked me. Do I get control now? Nope. Was that really what you came here to do, though? <laughs> there he is! <laughs> what? Where is he? He was there a second ago. I saw him. Then why isn't he there now? Crap. Where'd he go? Oh. Looks like Chloe's heading off somewhere else. Maybe we should ask her again if she saw anything. Huh? Oh, sure, I guess. Can't hurt. I mean... She was the one who led us up here in the first place. She'd probably be a useful asset in our search in general if we could convince her to help. Yeah, let's go down and talk to her. Chloe, our favorite person. Oh, hello again. Was he not on the roof? No, he was. He just managed to disappear before we could wring our hands around his stupid neck. Can't believe he managed to escape again. That doesn't make any sense to us, though. It's not like there was anywhere to hide up there, and he was way too far up to be able to just jump down. That does seem strange. So, you know... We were wondering if you might have some idea where he might have gone next. It doesn't even need to be a specific location like last time. Anything useful you might have on him to share, share away. Please, anything will do. Well, we really do seem to need some help. I might have some kind of idea. Wait, you do know something? I don't, but I know someone who might. Let me ask him for you. Sieg! Good boy. Good boy in the past. But, whoa! You have a falcon? Is he your pet or something? Oh, no. He's more like a friend. Scree! <laughs> gotcha. Sieg, you haven't seen Lecter, have you? He was that slovenly boy who was sleeping on the clubhouse roof not long ago. Scree? Scree, scree, scree. So you lost sight of him? Scree, scree. No, it's alright. Don't worry about it. Sorry for calling you then. Thanks for trying to help. Scree! Even Sieg struggles. That's how you know he's good. Wow. He really must be fast if Sieg can't keep up with him. Uh, I think we're a bit too busy having our minds blown by you talking to a falcon to feel impressed by Lecter right now. Uh, you're telling me. You're a true enigma. D did I do something strange? Oh, no, don't get me wrong. I don't mean that in a bad way. I'm just genuinely amazed. That makes two of us. Shame that superpower of yours didn't get us any closer to finding Lecter. Indeed. Still, if Seek couldn't find him, it could mean he's inside one of the buildings. Probably in one that's relatively quiet at this time of day. Actually, that helps narrow things down a lot. It just leaves empty classrooms, the dorms, the auditorium, the old schoolhouse. That still leaves plenty of places if you ask me. Um, would, would you like me to help out? Really? You're sure you wouldn't mind? 
I thought you had something else you needed to do. I was just going to go and have a look around some of the clubs, but I can do that anytime. Well, I do feel kind of bad about asking you to put yourself out for us, but you really would be a serious help. I don't think we could wish for better even. You're totally sure though? We wouldn't want to force you. Of course. Great, let's get to work then. He's not going to know what hit him. Now I have control, so let me save here. Give me one second, I need to go check on something. Alright, let's start looking around the campus. What I had done just now was uh, back up to right before I lost control and pop into this exact room, into the student council room. Because unfortunately they took away control after I gave that last printout away and I didn't have a chance to come in here and talk to the two older student council members, Leo and Lucy. Do you have business with me? Uh, oh no. We still haven't found Lecter though, I'm afraid. We've been looking for him for three days now. I think it's about time we threw in the towel. We always knew that finding that slacker would be a Herculean task. But he is in the academy grounds, so it can be done. No excuses. Catch him. Yes, sir. I'll take care of as much of our work as possible without him for now. But you must find him. There's a rope hanging down outside the window. Hmm? A rope? I wonder what it's here for. Oh, this is Lecter's handiwork. He loves to use it to climb up onto the roof. Adios knows how he first conjured that idea up. You can climb up. How about that? Alright, back down. Let's keep looking. Whoops, didn't mean to go back in. Oh, if it isn't Hans. You're going to join our club, right? I mean, you rock at sports stuff. You'd be a perfect fit. Not happening, my man. I've only got time for Lucy. So that's why you decided to join the council. Should have known. Wait. N no, that wasn't the reason. I just... I knew something seemed fishy when you put your name forward. You just weren't the type. Is all our work just a game to you? Yeah, you should be ashamed of yourself. I won't let you get close to Lucy using such underhanded trickery. Step back, Hans. She's mine and I'm not letting you have her. How dare you. Lucy and I are destined to be together. You step back. Here they go again. <laughs> Lucy certainly is popular. Yeah, no shit. You saw her? Isn't she pretty? In fact, where is she now? She's not in the student council room, so where is she? Excuse me, ma'am. You haven't spotted our president anywhere, have you? You're looking for him again, huh? <laughs> Sad as it is to say. Well, I wish I could say I have, but I haven't. He's always sure to say hi whenever he passes by here, by me too. So I'd definitely notice if he had been here. He does? That's oddly sweet of him? But that's not fair. I don't want to trade. Give me your eggs, Monica. I'll give you my carrots if you do. That, that is a terrible trade. No. Not trading my eggs for carrots. Even if they're like awesome carrot sticks. No, it's not worth it. The soon council president came over not long ago. He started singing some weird song in my ear out of nowhere. Something about lunar threads and a knight with a mustache. I can't get the damn thing out of my head now. So I can't concentrate on drawing. Ugh, told you. He's gonna get on my nerves. Collector! Oh, are you guys searching for that devil too? Same here. He's in real trouble when I get my hands on him. What did he do? Could have sworn I saw him not long ago. I can't find hide nor hair of him now. Ugh, why does he always have to be so good at running away? I'm starving, so I want to head over to the cafeteria and get some grub. But Mr. Effort's hanging around outside the dorm, so I'm stuck. I'll be in trouble if he finds me. Uh, wait, is Mr. Effort talking about Mickey and not Lecter? <laughs> it's almost time for the examinations to begin. I should probably start seriously studying for them. If you want to score well, it's never too early to start studying.
I have a feeling our answer is going to be the, uh, the auditorium, but I'm not entirely sure. I'm not cheating and looking it up. I would hope he's not here. That would be very inappropriate. Anyone here at the girls' dorm? I kept saying I didn't want to be the head of the club, but no matter how many times I did it, Raina just kept bringing it up. And as if that wasn't enough, annoying enough, some boy walked past earlier yawning and telling me I wasn't good enough to be head. What does he know? I never even talked to him. I'm so pissed off. I think I'm just going to take the plunge and do it. I'll show everyone I'll be a great club head. Bring it on. <laughs> Felicity seems to have decided that she wants to be the leader of, the, of our club. I thought I might have to use a certain word that is rather effective on her if she didn't show any signs of relenting. But thanks to the boy who came just past here before, I didn't need it after all. I rather wanted to be the one to deliver the final push though. Okay, so I totally screwed up. Felicity is our noble girl. And Reyna is the servant. And the word she's talking about is coward. Remember when we called Felicity a coward over at the uh, crone checkpoint? We're like, why are you being such a coward? And she was like, bitch, I'm no coward. I'll go talk to that suitor. I'll show you, bitch. Sorry, I added a little color to that. But that was basically the gist of it. She's like, no one calls me a coward. I'll go talk to my potential husband. Well, hey, didn't you decide to join the student council, Chloe? Oh, it's not that. I'm just helping them with something at the moment. Oh, I see. You just seemed a little different from how you usually are. So I thought joining the council was the reason for that. Different? It's nothing. Don't mind me. Anyway, can I help you out with anything? Actually, you can. You haven't seen Lecter around here anywhere, have you? Lecter? No, I'm pretty sure he hasn't passed by here. The only other person I can remember seeing is the janitor. I see. Thanks for your help anyway. No problemo. I saw Lucy wander into the main building earlier. She looked so exhausted, but she was just as charming as ever. Well, let's go find her. Excuse me. Yes? You wouldn't have happened to see the student council president anywhere, would you? Oh, uh, yes, the student council president. Uh, you don't want to get involved with him. Trust me. That's all I'm going to say. Right. Well, it's too late for Hans and Jill on that front. Excuse me, sir. You wouldn't have happened to see our president anywhere, would you? We're having a little bit of trouble finding him, you see. Actually, I have. He was sleeping over on the sofa there until not long ago. <laughs> he was sleeping around in your office? I swear. Unbelievable. He doesn't even fear the Dean. We're really going to have to take good care of him when we find him. I'm terribly sorry for the trouble he caused you, sir. We'll make sure that he answers for his crimes. We promise. <laughs> Please, don't worry about it. He seems to have taken quite a liking to this place. I'm rather used to it. I see. No fear. I don't want to talk to the professors. I'm gonna find Lucy. Where is she? I feel like I've gotten as much like interesting dialogue out of the NPCs as possible. I really doubt that they're hiding anything else on me. She is not in here. Or no, I passed. I walked right by her like an idiot. How did he manage to get away? I had him attached to me with handcuffs this time too. He shouldn't have been able to. Um, Lucy? Lecter can actually teleport, you know? There's no way I can keep him under control anymore. L lucy don't give up! Being forced to deal with him all the time seems to be finally making her crack. <sighs> that idiot. Okay, we got her dialogue. So he could be at the old schoolhouse, or he could be in the auditorium. I feel like we'll get our answer depending on whoever is at the steps. I feel like he wouldn't be here if Anton and Ricky are. See, there they are. 
Anton started whining again. He doesn't seem to realize that won't help his situation any, and he probably never will. <laughs> he sure hasn't learned it yet. Why won't you say anything, Ricky? Are you okay with the two of us staying like this forever? Well? Give it a rest, Anton. Nothing you're saying makes any sense. That's what you always say, Ricky. You're always trying to avoid answering my questions. Refusing to face up to things isn't going to get you anywhere in life, you know? You'll just end up a loser. Calm down, Anton. Whining like this isn't going to change anything. Ricky's always trying to find ways to avoid answering my questions. I bet deep down he finds all my woes funny or something. No getting in there. Yeah, this is probably not the right place. This is just a chance for you to come and laugh at Anton and Ricky some more. Let's try the auditorium. He is such a pain in... Ugh. Gets on my nerves. Lecter! Lecter! Look at him. Right when I said no one ever comes up here. Is he asleep? We found you. You're not getting away this time. It's time to come quietly. Hmm... Um, what exactly is it that you're reading? It's kitty talk for dummies. Yago. Nyan. Nyan nyan. Have you been sitting here reading that all this time? <laughs> I just closed my eyes and kept running forward through a vast, empty world. Living the hardest that I could. It wasn't that running would achieve anything, and it wasn't as if I would suddenly be able to leave the ground and fly by doing so. It was just that if I stood still, the small, perfectly enclosed garden around me would suddenly feel too uncomfortably vast. Lecter was right. Just what had I come here to do? After that, Chloe decided to join the fencing club so that the skills Julia taught her didn't grow rusty during her time at the academy. She also found herself being roped into helping Jill and Hans search for the nefarious lector quite often, too. Then, roughly a month after all this began, everyone's favorite time of the academic year finally arrived. Right, so here I need to use this formula... Wait, this isn't right. What am I doing wrong? Exam season, huh? Oh, I guess it's not the festival. I don't remember. Soon sure have it rough. You're technically one too, you know. Technically. You are going to study, aren't you? Well. Well. I'll take that as a no. Oh, here you are. An angel shines her majesty upon us. Come on, Lecter. It's time for you to hit those books. But, but I've studied for a whole half second today already. I really don't think. <laughs> oh, Lucy. Why can't I get you to do that to me? Wait, no. This is no time for fantasizing. I need to study. Finally free! I knew this place wouldn't go easy on us. Those were really hard. I feel like I just want to curl up in bed and sleep for a week now. 
Oh, Koei. How the exams go for you? Well, alright, I suppose. Now, now, there's no need to be modest. We know you probably finished in half the time and got all the answers right to boot. The smile says it all. <laughs> I wish I had your brain. Sure we can't swap? This isn't the place to be loitering. You're stopping people from getting to the stairs. Oops. We're sorry. Oh, and one more thing. The Zoom Council's work resumes today. I will be expecting both of you in the council room at 2 o'clock for a meeting. Don't even think about being late. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. As for you, Chloe, you may do as you see fit. Um, I'm guessing that's his way of saying he'd like you to come along, too. You might not technically be a member, but you're our honorary lector catcher. We kind of need you at this point. I'll bet he's acknowledged you because of that, because believe me, that's a real special talent you've got there. <laughs> I'm not sure I've done enough to warrant that personally. If it's okay for me to go, maybe I will though. It sounds like fun. You might be a bit disappointed if you go along expecting fun. We'd be happy to have you though, fun or no fun. So if you're up for it, so are we. Nice, let's go get ourselves some lunch, then we can head over there. All right. Yo, guys. Whoa, Lecter's here? What's the occasion? Hey, you say that as if I'm never here. I'm always here doing nothing, aren't I? At least he's being honest about it. Lucy, I'm so happy to see you again. You're looking well, Hans. How did your exams go? Uh, well, I'd appreciate it if we avoided that fine subject. Much like how you avoided all the subjects you were supposed to study then. Can you stop wasting time and take your seats? We have work to do. S sorry Well, we're all here, so let's get started. Alright, our first order of the day is... Talking about everyone's dreams for the future. You three can go first. Speak of your highest aspirations so that we all might hear. <laughs> Please continue, Leo. First, I will go over the student council's main orders of business for the year. After that, I will discuss our future activities in more detail, and we can start to work on allocating the budget. Jill, you spill first. Tell us what desires burn within that pure sisterly heart of yours. The desire to topple your presidency. <gasps> As you can see, this fool will be of no use at all to the proceedings. Expect diddly squat from him. Oh, Lecter. When he's not here, he causes trouble. And when he's here, he causes trouble. So moving along, if we go by our usual pattern for the next year, the next month will be... Uh, I'm exhausted. Trying to find Lecter is exhausting, but somehow not having to do it ends up being just as tiring. But at least I was finally reunited with my beloved Lucy. I was dying of loneliness from not getting to see her during the exam period. You liar. You went and met her this morning, didn't you? Something about seeing her before your exams and making you do better in them. <laughs> You're right. I saw you too. Oh, hey. Just what I needed. A few people who look like they've got nothing to do. We're a hell lot busier than you are. We need to go around and meet with the heads of all the Academy's clubs and start drafting up a budget. Oh, okay. I guess it's up to you, Chloe. Me? Lecter handed an envelope to Chloe. Um, what is this? It's something that needs to be delivered to the Mayor of Ruan. Leo's not going to take no for an answer either, so there you go. Enjoy. That sounds very much like it's your job. Mine? You sure you're not mistaking me for someone else? 
Oh, and Chloe? You've got a feather on your head. I do? Lecter brushed his hand across Chloe's head. I guess that must have been Sieg's. He did say it was almost time for him to start molting, come to think of it. H how long has that been there? I hope it wasn't there during the exams. That would be so embarrassing. You know about Sieg? A and did you actually talk to him? Okay, good luck delivering that envelope. Talk about an enigma. Um, Chloe? You are aware you just had Lecter's work unceremoniously dumped on you, right? Also, while I hate to be the one to break it to you, there wasn't a feather on your head. He did it again! Come on, you can't let him get away with this. You gotta go after him and force him to take it back. You shouldn't have to do his work for him. I don't disagree, but I'm not sure she's gonna find him if she goes after him now. He's got enough of a head start that we're probably talking like, what, five hours to find him? Six? I... I think it would be faster for me to just go and do the job myself, wouldn't it? All I have to do is deliver it to the Mayor of Ruan, after all. Ah, we were kind of hoping you could help us with our work, too. I'm sorry, Jill. Ah, don't worry about it. No big deal. Do you know the way to the mayor's place? If you don't, I can help with that. Thanks, but I know the way. I've been to visit him once before, actually. Huh? Really? Sounds like you should be fine, then. Well, take care of monsters on the way. Thank you. I will. Well, this is goodbye for now, I guess. Later. Don't be out too late. I won't. All right, when we pick up next time, we continue on with Moon Door 3. See you guys in the next one.